Hi everyone, Denny Joe here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Deco Art Satin Enamel Paint to get cells. So when you open it, you're going to have um, some separation going on. Um, so you want to make sure that you mix that well uh, to get it all evenly distributed and mixed in. You can see too that I'm using a scale. Um, I can also eyeball this recipe, but I use a scale to help me kind of make sure the amounts that I'm using are kind of in line with where my eyeballs are. Um, I use this a lot, so you can see it's kind of built up with paint. I'm scratching it here to see, make sure you guys can see the numbers. Um, so I'm going to start with 0.5 ounces of the Deco Art Satin Enamel. And if you aren't exact and you're, you know, miss the mark by 0.5 or even 0.1, it's fine. Don't stress about it. Um, as long as you're in that general area, it'll be a, a good enough consist consistency that it pours out um, and will tilt well. So now I'm going to mix into my tube paint. I did a poor job here of showing you beforehand, but this is Master's Touch. Oh, no, this is my white. <laughs> this is my Master's Touch Titanium White. Um, and I put in about 0.1 ounces. Um, so I think I end up with 0.55 here, or maybe 0.6, but um, in that ballpark. And then I'm going to add my Floetrol, my Flood brand Floetrol. There we go. And I'm going to put that up to get it up to 1.1 ounces. So basically doubling. So with the paints I got in there mixed together total with the flow trial is about a one to one ratio. 1.05, sorry. If I said one point, yeah, so 1.05 ounces total. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It's a good way of supporting me um, without having to you know support me monetarily. So it's great. Thank you for the support. All right, so here I'm mixing it well. Um, you'll want to make sure, because I put in the thicker paint too with the thinner deco art paint, um, you'll see I'm kind of doing a smishy motion against the side of the cup. Um, I do that to make sure that I get all the clumps mixed in and dispersed well. And then I'll probably scrape the side of the cup a couple times um, and just I just mix really well and then I uh, let it drizzle off the stick you can see that it does come off in a stream but there is a mound so it's not very liquidy it's kind of gloopy still um, but it's thin enough that it'll, it'll pour all right so I have um, some other colors here and paints that I'm going to mix up I'm going to speed it up so that um, you know it's a little bit quicker this is kind of a slow process um, but I wanted you to see the entire process. Um, and then after I'm done mixing those paints, I'll show you how I paint and swipe to get the cells. Mm -hmm. 